Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be creating a professional resume to introduce your qualifications and skills and to stand out among other applicants. But, before starting the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Let's look at the resume example which we will be creating today using the Google Docs. Here you can see the combination of light gray and white color with the black icons for showing contact information and headings to describe the experience, educations, awards, and skills. So let's get started. We will be using a table for making this resume as we have not covered it in the previous videos of Google Docs as well. For that go to insert option and select table. Here we are choosing 3 columns and 11 rows. So let's see the example again. Now the first thing I want to create is the top portion which contains the name. For that, I am going to select the first two rows on the top of the table and merge the cells. Align the text in the center. Now let's enter the name and set the font size to 30 pixels. Select the designation and make it 14 pixels. Select both of the text and choose the font to EB Garamond. Let's go to our example resume. In the next step, I am going to add these icons and contact info. You can get these icons from the iconfinder.com. Just enter your search criteria, like email is shown in the video. You can download icons from this site and can get the icon URL for free. Now select the icon and copy image address. Go to Images option and select by URL. Now, paste the copied URL and click Insert. Our icon has been inserted now. We will do the same with the other two icons and quickly add them to our document. Now resize these icon by resizing handles or by clicking on the other image options. Select the size and rotation and enter the size of your need. Adjust the size of the other two icons as well in the same way. Now select them all and align them to the center as shown in the example. Now add the email address and other contact info. Select them all and select the font to Lado and font size to 10 pixels. We are missing some color in our document. For that let's select the top two rows, right click and scroll down, and select table properties. Select light gray 2, and click on OK. Go to ellipsis icon on the menu bar for more options, and select border width, to 0 points. Next, I am going to add the picture, for that I am using a user icon instead of the picture. Now select the next three rows, and merge the cells. I am going to upload the image from computer. For that go to image option and select upload from computer. Double click on the image or click on open to insert the file. As you can see our image has been uploaded, but it's a bit larger than required. For that resize the image with resizing handles and make it aligned center. Select the top two rows and make the merge for heading. Paste the heading text and select the font to Lado, font size to 12 pixels, make it bold, and align it to center. Now I am going to insert a line after heading. For that go to insert, and select the horizontal line. Go to line spacing, and select custom spacing to 0.5, because I want less space between our heading and the line. 
let's quickly add the other two heading as well in the same way. Now we are going to add the experience. For that I am merging these four cells. Then I am just copying the text and paste it over here. You have to add your own experience accordingly. Do the same with the education and awards as well. Now let's add some more headings, like objective, next to the user images. Align the text to left. Select the font to Lado, and font size to 11 pixels. Make the text bold. Now let's quickly copy the text and paste it here. Leave one cell, and then add the skill heading in the next cell. Now merge it with the other cell below it. Again copy its content and paste it. Do the same with the language as well. select the left column and go to table properties select the background color to light gray too now select the border width to zero points and click on ok we have come to the end result of our resume i hope you liked the tutorial and it may help you in creating our own resume very easily Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next tutorial till then take care and goodbye.